Last year, Samsung revealed its upper mid-range processor, the Exynos 980 with an 8 nanometer fabrication, and it kind of flew under the radar and was overshadowed by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset. But the successor to the Exynos 980 is packing some serious power, and it's allegedly more powerful than the current flagship, the Snapdragon 865. The unannounced Exynos 1080 is still a few months away from being official, but Samsung Semiconductor confirmed that the Exynos 1080 will use ARM's latest Cortex-A78 CPU cores and Mali-G78 GPU cores. These are the same cores that are gonna be used on the flagship Exynos 2100 processor, albeit those will be clocked at a higher frequency than this. But even with its lower clock speed, the Exynos 1080 has managed to score higher than the Snapdragon 865 in a 2-2 benchmark which has drawn quite a lot of attention to this chipset. So why does a non-flagship processor score higher than a flagship one? Well, first of all, this is a leak, and like every other early benchmark leak, the chances of it being accurate are quite slim. Secondly, Antutu tests other things like memory and user experience, which doesn't necessarily show the actual performance of the chipset itself. A more reliable metric for this should be Geekbench's single core score, which I'm certain it's most likely gonna be below the Snapdragon 865. Of course it uses the new Cortex-A78, but it's gonna be clocked much lower at 2.2 GHz. And think about this, if Samsung makes a mid-range processor that beats the Snapdragon 865, that puts it in line to cannibalize its flagship processor of the Exynos 2100. They're not gonna make their mid-range processor perform close to their flagship processor from the same year. So the CPU cores are gonna be clocked at a lower frequency, and the GPU is also gonna use less cores and are most likely gonna be clocked at a lower frequency. So I don't see how it's actually gonna beat the Snapdragon 865, but I could be wrong and I hope I am, because that's gonna be really impressive if it does beat the Snapdragon 865. And that's also gonna mean previous flagship Exynos processors are gonna face more scrutiny. But as with every other leak, take this with a grain of salt. I'd like to know what you think. Do you think Samsung's mid-range processor can beat the previous generation best from Qualcomm? Let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tech related videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.